Alright, let's see if this thing works. So, I'm Iro, Lego Man. Uh, this is... you are... who are you? Tiger X Roar. Alright. So, we're gonna be talking about our predictions for Ruby. I guess you just call the show The Laundry Room because we're in a laundry room. It's the only place we get quiet-ish. So he asked me, what are my predictions for Volume 4? In terms of the team, Ruby, Yang, she, she's not going to do much. She's just going to be so depressed. And she probably won't do anything to like... We, we may not see her do much until like halfway through the series. She may get a prosthetic arm, which would be cool, like everyone's predicting. Oh, no doubt she's definitely going to get one. They gave one to Ironwood, after all. Right, but he, remember, he's like based off the Tin Man. I mean, I mean, half of his body is metal. Let's see. In terms of Blake, I mean, she's just going to do her uh, ninja thing. If I remember correctly, in um, Shadows, um, from Shadows, yeah, from Shadows, she was like on her own or something like that, or maybe it was like from Red Trailer, uh, Blake Spark. But she's going to do her own thing. She's probably going to go after the White Fang and Adam and all that stuff. And uh, let's see, Weiss. Um, let's see. I think she's going to be more business, but wishing she had gone on the adventure. They may call her, like, I don't know, towards the end, or they may grab her. Or she may come around on her own, like, sneak out. Why Jean going to kidnap her? What up? Miyamo is Jean. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of Ruby... Um, and Team Ranger, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. That's what the Phantom's calling it. Ray Phantom. Um, that's what team, that's what the Rooster Teeth team's calling it as well. Hooray Phantom. Booyah Phantom. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell what kind of adventures they're going to go on. Um, obviously fantasy, but I think they're going more out into the world. We're going to probably see more lore, if I remember correctly. There's uh, some, uh, was it ours depictions or uh, new, new Grim out there? If I remember, new Grim. And with this introduction, they this might introduce a whole lot more to the stories from like fan made materials rather than just a school setting. Right, and the, and as we all know, there's a whole bunch of fan fiction out there, even like. Even not directly related, but inspired by team uh, fan teams. I mean, we did have Indigo um, from the Indiegogo campaign. Right. Let's talk about Team Ranger for a little bit. Team Ranger, what are your, what are your thoughts? Because we just talked. I mean, I, I, we really can't talk about Ruby unless we talk about Team Ranger. Yeah. Wait, talk about Ruby or Ranger? Ranger. Yes, Ranger. Because we can't talk about Ranger without Ruby. Or vice versa. If any of them are going to have a beard, it's probably going to be John. Really? John with a beard? Yeah, you're right. You make a mustache. A nice little goatee. You do know they're only like high school age. Yep. Salem. Ooh, Salem. Oh, with oh, 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 oh. I make a prediction about how John will look, and you immediately go... Skip over the rest of the right, No, fine, fine, Dude. fine, fine. All right, Nora and Ren, they've got no place to go. That was made canon in, um, in like the first made canon episode one, so they've got nowhere to go. So of course they go with them. Do you think they're gonna be together, together, or not together, together? As Nora puts it. What blasphemous statement have you brought us? <laughs> oh, speaking of ships. Um, if I remember correctly, and I read this um, article correct, White Rose is confirmed. I don't know. The. <laughs> the. Eh. Well, I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not the one I would look at. I mean, Bumblebee's confirmed. Oh, it's even on Yang's pants. And the concept art. So, Ren and Nora. Nearly Merely scribbles to get the people happy. That's what they want, so that's what they give them. So, is there any going to be Ruby X John as per like 
episode was it when there was like well there's John he's he's nice but I don't think he's good in a fight I believe that was the episode uh, episode four uh, all right so going back to topic earlier <laughs> Salem which one Salem. which one Salem. oh not a word oh will uh, will J- will Ren and Nora get together? Is that the only question people ever ask about them? <laughs> Why? What are the? All right, Farm. What else do you have to ask? Well, like, what modifications do you think they may have made over the time skip? Hopefully, Ren's got better weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because because um, Stormflower kind of sucks. Not exactly the greatest weapon, considering the fact that every single time, like. Almost every single time Ren got in a fight, with the exception of like fights that don't focus on him per se. I mean, the moment the moment he gets any focus in a fight, he's gonna lose. Like say up against the Giant Scorpion, Death Stalker, Death Stalker, uh, up against Yang during the food fight, King Taijitsu. King Taijitsu. I can't pronounce it, but that's the best pronunciation I got. The King Taijitsu. Yeah, those guns aren't exactly the best. Nope. Hell, he uses freaking aura and hands in order to take it down. Stormflower didn't do shit. No. It seems to be more of a... Well, yeah, it, it just seems like it was tacked on. Like, his main focus is on his... It seems like the only focus on Ren is his relationship with Nora. Yeah, I guess. And Nora is, uh... That he, hammer. He's a he's a delicate little flower. Flower power, go. What? He's a delicate flower. She brings the power. That's it. That's all the relationship is. Are we done talking about Team Ranger? Yes. All right. So Salem, third time's a charm. Salem. Salem. So my prediction Salem. is Salem. she'll probably only show up like three times ish during the entire series, and she won't be like the. <laughs> Uh, like rubbing her hands or anything like that. I think it's more like quick, like mentions of her, or quit, or like kind of like Roman was in the in, in like the first few episodes of Volume ben One. Said, no, no, not Roman. No, I think I think the Roman of season one. Okay, Roman to season one would probably be Cinder in season four. That's my guess. Fair point. Where he made like a fairly big name of himself. And, like, the grand finale was basically him against, uh... Sun. Now, what do you think about Sun and Blake? Uh, well, let's get to that in a second. Right. Um... Very well. Yes. So, anyway, so she, the, way I see it, the way I see it, Salem is gonna be treated, like... Salem's gonna be treated in Volume 4 probably the same way Cinder was treated in Volume... What? Yeah, that's probably a better analogy. You had asked me earlier how long the episodes were going to be. I'm going to say like 12 at 12 uh, episodes, minim- 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Yes. Each episode is going to be 12 episodes long, on average. Each episode is going to be 12 episodes long. <laughs> on average. <laughs> on average. <laughs> me, I'm just kind of hoping they would extend it to at least 15, because they did do a 30 minute one for the season finale. Was that really 30 minutes? I mean, it was like 22 minutes my, plus credits. We're talking about season of volume 3. Yes, the, the season, the last episode was 20, was 30 minutes long. Yeah. Everyone was going crazy about that. They were like, my, this episode is 30 minutes long, my god, what a miracle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 12 minutes on average. Um, mainly because I'm, lo- I mean, maybe because I'm looking at how season 1 and 2 went. Uh, volumes one and two because I don't have volume three yet. So yes, but you have seen it. Like only one time through. Volume one and two I've seen like multiple times, and freaking Google Play won't let me download the music off my phone. Wee wee wee! Don't download. Just watch it from the source. The music? I want to listen to it where I don't have to watch it because. I can see it playing. That is what I'm waiting for. That, what you just said. What? The music. The music for Volume 1. Epic. Great. The music for Volume 2. Outstanding. 
The music for Volume 3. Oh my god! The only stuff I listen to. Hell, I still listen to Volume 1 and 2, mainly because I don't have Volume 3, because it won't be on my phone because of Google Play, darn you. If there's and, and, one and, thing and that I'm absolutely waiting for, I'm it's the soundtrack. I just cannot wait for the soundtrack. Which, uh, Volume 4? If the way they if the if they make the music as good as they always do, yes. So I was so happy when they had um, "I May Fall" in Volume Four, uh, Three. Oh, uh, that was that was a great that was stage. epic, and then, and then Velvet's um, stuff. Too bad they didn't really do much more than like, oh hey, here's her weapon. Now let's let's show you something else. So, uh, so you had a point. You brought up a point earlier. Blake and Son. Yes. Tell me, what do you think? What do I think? I legit do not know. How about Sun and Neptune? How, how, how about Team Sun just in general? Team Sun? They seem like the sinker of ships. I just don't know why. Well, they are an SSN. Oh wait, there's another S. You tried to do one of those corny little jokes. Yes, I know. Because uh, if, if you guys don't know, we're both Navy. So for us, an SSN is a uh, submarine. And submarines are usually all male. So. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sure they're all laughing. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is laughing. Ha ha ha. Hoor 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 hoor. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, I've been meaning to make that somewhat of a joke. Alright, so, so Sun and Blake, how about Sun and Neptune? Sun and no. No, no, no. I'm not talking about any. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the relationship. Relationship? Uh, the relationship between Sun and Neptune, I believe, is going to be the same. There will be no change. There will be no romance. No, so, no, what is it? Sea monkeys is what the fan calls it? God, no. No, no. Alright, how about Sage and uh, Scarlet? Uh, I really hope we get to see more of Sage. I mean, basically all we've seen of him was... He has a big sword. <laughs> You know there, you know there's that cartoon of like, was it um, Yatsuhashi and Sage having the giant swords, and then Weiss just comes in with a giant sem uh, lift semblance sword, like mine's bigger. And they were like, no fair. No, I, I, I have to claim I have not seen that. Before. All right, I've got it. On. I, I can show you that, but uh, they'll see it. Anyway. So yeah, I do hope that we see more of uh, Sage and Scarlet because isn't Scarlet the yeah Scarlet's the pirate? Yeah, Scarlet's the pirate, voiced by Gavin Free. I'm sure that before that episode, everyone thought that Scarlet was like, oh, I'm cool, and after that one, they, I think know, we, I think we all thought Scarlet was like a girl. I mean, I'm at least like. 75% sure that everyone thought that Scarlet was a girl? No, I did. I was kind of hoping for it, but no.